Hello, Belovers, welcome back. Today, we're gonna be doing a fabulous makeup tutorial. We will be using this really cool guided droopy hooded eye tutorial outlined mapper that I found on Pinterest. Hopefully, this will help me get my look snatched and perfected. Hello, keep watching. As you can tell, I have already primed my eyelids with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. And I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows with European Wax Center's Brow Liner in the shade of Light. You can get yours by visiting the link in the description below. The mirror will always help you. Okay, so you can't really see it this way, but you can see it that way. Okay, that's not gonna help you, Eric. We're learning together, right, remember? Okay, so we wanna open that diagonal look. Okay, so we wanna do that diagonal look. Okay, I can dig. Okay, okay. So that's what they mean by transition shade. Step two. Okay, that's step three. Wait, where's step? Hold on. Hold the phone. Okay, that's step one, two. Okay, that's step three. What am I missing here? What am I missing in step four? Something missing here. I don't get it. Well, maybe there is no step four. I'm supposed to be going from... Okay, as you can see, this image right here, it's saying that I'm supposed to go kind of up this way and this way. So I'm supposed to just designate this area like that with a lighter shade. Okay, so let's let's try that. Let's do something fun. I'm gonna start with the Morphe 35B palette in the shade of this really cool orange right here. Kiss and tell, kiss and tell. With the angled side. Now as from what I have been learning, I want to, according to the picture, as it says right there, I want to just do exactly that. Go all the way up and that way. This is gonna be my area of work. We're defining our workspace. Okay, so that's what we want to do. We want to define here to right here. Okay, so that means from here to here, we're gonna blend all of this jazz. We're gonna go in with our Sephora brush 205 in the same shade of orange with the shadow side <laughs> kiss and tell and then we're gonna go with the crease side and just blend it out in circles i'm doing circles one thing i also learned is to not pack on so much product and when you do pack on don't have a heavy hand i have a very heavy hand when it comes clearly now i'm doing an orange and blue look with a winged liner not bad friday right? no yeah okay now let's do the same thing here we want to map it out eric map it out map it out that way if you make a mistake you don't scream and shout right because that's how they tell you to do it in the picture. Okay, so we're gonna go back in with brush 205, Kiss and Tell. The shade is not called Kiss and Tell. For those of you who are just watching my makeup tutorials, when I say Kiss and Tell, that does not refer to the shade color. That refers to me tapping is a kiss and blowing is a tell. Okay, so when I say Kiss and Tell, now you know. And we're gonna use the crease side brush to blend it out downwards. So now the next step, according to the image right here, step three, is you wanna take this corner here with a darker shade. You only wanna do here. We only want to kind of go here. Now that we did step one, I want to go back to step one and just refine it back with 35B palette. And I'm going to go with this orange. Instead of using this orange that I've been kissing and telling with, I'm going to kiss and tell with this orange now. Kiss, tell a little, not a lot. But it comes out really nicely. Let's use our angled liner brush, cleaning the brush, cleaning the brush. Grab my All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay and just lightly spray this brush and then go into the color that I want to use. Now we're going to use this shade of blue, kiss and tell, to line. We're doing it, you guys. We're doing it together. I'm here and you're doing it with me. This guideline is super helpful because I'm looking straight ahead when I'm doing this. Because as you can tell, I'm going to use the mirror. It's going to like a rainbow. You want to do like a rainbow. So for the hooded eye section, I get it. You want to do your other color right above above your crease so you still have that natural look. Mm. Dry, clean the brushes. Smoothie time. Maybe if I go in with this side of the brush of 205, do I need more light? If you have any recommendations for light for me, please comment below. Okay, I need really good lighting. I'm somewhat satisfied with this look, but not entirely. So we're gonna play with the other side now. I'm gonna use my eyeshadow smudge brush this time to see how it looks. Maybe I can give myself the look that I wanted. Okay, now remember what you did here? You blocked it out this way. Okay. We need a mirror. Okay, so don't use a smudge brush, Eric. Do not use the smudge brush, okay? Smudge brushes are for the smudging and smudging of liner and shadow only, okay? Do not park in the smudging zone, okay? You will be towed. We're doing the angled liner brush now to complete the look here. Alrighty, so we went ahead and did the right side and the left side. It's kind of balanced. I kind of like this look. I know I need to blend it out a little more. I'm kind of going for like a sunset kind of look, like a sunset by the beach. Whereas this is the beach and this is a sunset. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
This time, this side came out better than that one. Ugh, whatever to you. This side is more prominently lifted than this side, I realized. There we go, right? I know so much better. So much better, I know! Uh, practice makes perfect. I feel like we have to go back over it with an orange again, right? Because that's what everybody always does is they go back over the same color that they did before. I'm gonna go back into the same orange that we did earlier. Now I know why Sephora recommended this brush. It's a really good brush if you know how to use it. We're just blending right now the orange with the blue. Ombreing it out! Do blue here and blue here, but leave this part white. <sighs> What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of my primer on a blending brush. So far, yeah. Oh, is this what cutting the crease is? This is so cool. Even though you can't really tell. I'm going with the white from the 35B palette. Isn't this looking amazing? Alrighty, so we went ahead and concealed the sides here. Now I know it kind of looks messy, ugh. but it's not that bad actually. I kind of like the way this looks. I did the primer potion and I set it in white and I'm just gonna figure out what I want to do for my color. So I'm gonna refer back to the chart here. So now we have to go back, but with a darker color here. Then we're gonna outline dark here and here. So we only have a white here, but dark here. Blue and orange. What would go good with blue and orange? What goes with blue and orange? Yellow? I thought about that. We're gonna go in with an easy brown to smoke it out. <laughs> I'm like, hello, this is not a mirror. I'm just sweeping. So I'm just sweeping corners inwards to the eye. So I'm going in this way. Didn't do much good. Okay, I should probably go in with a blending brush. I will be using my blending shadow. I'm using my smudge brush with this golden yellow from the 35B palette again. And I'm just literally using that yellow gold to only blend the sky with the ocean, really, remember? And I don't wanna do a highlighter, but this isn't what I'm doing. This is not the look I'm going for. Kind of doing what I wanted it to do, which just like lightly diffuse this part right here. I realized orange is probably not a good shade to start with on the very top, to be honest with you. I look like a bruise again, Ugh, you guys. Uh, uh. Maybe I just need to learn my color wheel again. This time we're gonna go in with this blue color right here. Kiss and tell. And we're gonna do pink on the eyelids so with this pink and the lined brush and we're gonna go in on the lined side here like right here on the eyelid you know what i did here is just add some pink to the right i know it's so cool you just have to blend it though i'm going with the 205 shadow side and i'm swiping outwards not inwards i'm going away from the eye i'm going this way and towards up and away let's go back in with a little bit more pink so we don't mess up that crease really light really light claudia said i'm not supposed to have a heavy hand so we're doing a light hand so sexy we're gonna go with the silver right here i know i'm so excited Let's do the other eye and come back to you. Here we go. Perfect. Now all I want to do is go in with some more white and then some silver. I will be using my Precision Shadow Brush by Sephora and Sephora's White Eyeshadow in the shade of Let It Snow. Kissing and telling. Oh, okay. It looks super pigmented. Look at that. What if I can just use what I already have on the brush? Wow. This is a nice blending brush too. Precision Shadow by Sephora. <sighs> Now it's time for Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions. Let's get into the silver. <laughs> okay, so I will be going in with the silver. Okay, and I want it here. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Oh, oh silver. Like it's giving me like a metallic -y kind of look. Not really doing much of anything light that I wanted. Ugh. I'm going back in with the white. I'm thinking of doing yellow instead of silver. Maybe that'll stand out more. And I still need to define this area here. I should probably do that first, right? <laughs> So to define this crease, I'm gonna go in with a darker from the Huda Beauty shade and we'll come back. Ugh. Okay, you guys, look, look, okay? I tried blending and blending and blending and like nothing blended. I made a bruise again, a mess. So I'm taking this off, I'm over it. I'm using a drag off, you can find them on Instagram. They're amazing makeup remover and it's all organic. I'm just gonna remove this and start over. I'm just gonna do makeup like I typically do my makeup when I'm going out into town, okay? I'm done with this, like trying to be like something I'm not, okay? I'm no James Charles, I'm no Manny MUA, I'm no Jeffree Star, I'm no Hati, no offense to you. But I'm none of you, okay? I am me, okay? And I have no idea how the hell I'm supposed to freaking do this. Wayne Goss, you don't have the same eye shape I I do so your your methods don't work for me buddy boo okay so i'm just taking off all of this drama okay because this is all it is it's just drama this is drama okay and save the drama for your mama if she likes the drama and if she doesn't then boohoo happy mother's day Ugh. fresh canvas right 
I know, how cool. Let's start over. I'm so pleased. I know, right? Ugh, eternally Elvira. Ugh. When I go out into town, I typically do my makeup super simple, especially because we live in a very small town and the majority of people who wear makeup in this town are female and they have a lot of real estate to work with. I'm not gonna be doing what I wanted to do because hello, first of all, I'm totally convinced that it's my brush, okay? Maybe there might be just hope for me yet once I get the James Charles brush set by Morphe. Getting closer to getting it. First thing I wanna do is prime my eyelids. Urban Decay Primer Potion, okay? I just do that, I oh shit. Don't get it into your eyeball. Eric, why do you do this to me? I swear this is not on purpose, people. <laughs> Meanwhile, this one's already, whatever to you. Uh, okay, is it gone? Oh God, I got it in my eyeball. I can feel it in my eyeball. Okay, there we go, we're primed. I just use my fingers to blend it out, whatever to you. Okay, that's typically all I do is just use my fingers, blend it out with your finger, blend it out with your finger. Okay, blend it out with your finger. Eric, whatever to you. I'm doing a happy face though, whatever to you. We're kind of primed. It happens, whatever. Now, the one thing that I've been really working hard on is really improving my cat eye because I really want to improve my cat eye. Okay, let's make it basic and break it down super simple. I'm gonna be using the KKW Powder Contour Palette, okay? And I'm just gonna be using this shade to get me a bronzer kind of a look. I'm going in with this lighter shade because it suits my tone better. Kiss and tell. Just gives me more of like a natural bronzer kind of a look, right? Same here. What I like about the contour palette is that you can use it for just about anything. It's not just for your, I mean, it's for your face. So you shouldn't have to limit it to only here and here. Just going in very light. I'm just going back and forth, back and forth with a crease brush, okay? I'm not even, I know, I know. You makeup enthusiasts must be rolling right now because you're like, oh my God, he's not using a crease brush. But you know what? I am. What are you gonna do? I really like this look. <sighs> Okay, so this is giving me just like a natural kind of tone for the hooded eye, so I don't have like that look, right? Okay. Depending on the day that I'm having, I just pick a simple shade. So today's color is white, but you can't really use white. So I'm gonna use a fun shade like pink and blue. I'm gonna use my 35B palette by Morphe to pick the blue and the pink that I'm gonna be using for my eyelid. Now, because I have the hooded eye, I always just use the, I only paint this section right here, typically. Okay, so we wanna make it light here and dark here. So I'm gonna use the bright pink. And one of the tricks that I did learn is because I have a hooded droopy eye, I do not engage in closing of the eyelid. Because if I do, the only thing that would benefit me from doing that is to just make a clear line across. Because if I start painting in other directions, I end up creating a problem. Trial and error, you're welcome. So I'm just going straight across, that's it. That's all I'm doing. As you can see, now I'm going in with the other eye. I love this blue, it's giving me, oh, that's so hot and sexy. I like it. I love it a lot. Okay, I wanna smoke out this side. That's what I typically do is I do blue on this side. Super simple guys and super basic, okay, hello. Now I'm gonna take my hood a Beauty Sapphire Obsessions palette, one of my favorite blues. I'm going to use this glittery blue on top. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna use this upper left-hand corner blue. It's kind of the color of my eyes, so we're just gonna go in there with the liner brush. And what I'm doing is I'm just gonna go from the center because this is where you want to start creating that illusion, apparently from what everybody said. Okay, let's zoom in. Now, my lashes are naturally long, so I know, don't be jelly. That's what I'm doing here. And then I just go ahead with some eyeliner, but you see, I don't like that it's smudging right here. Okay, but that's when I try to fix things and I always make them worse. For me, with eyeshadow is the equivalent to biting nails, and let me explain why. I'm a uh, recovered nail biter, okay? But when I used to bite my nails, it was like I'd bite one part off, I'm like, oh, it's not symmetrical, so I just keep trying to bite and peel off and laugh and off until I was like left with nothing of a nail because I wanted it to look perfect. Well, that's kind of like eyeshadow, as I keep trying to add on and add on and add on, and pretty much I look just like a raccoon, really. It's like, let's get in line for the circus. I know, no boy, no. I'm convinced it's a lighting issue. Okay, right, there we go. Back again with my KKW, this shade right here, Kiss and Tell. This is the KKW Beauty Powder Contour and Highlight Kit in the shade of light. So by doing this, I think I'm just setting everything else and blending. Actually, I'm just making sure that the bottom doesn't touch the top. I kind of like the color. That's the kind of color that I like. I'm very magical in my color choices. I'm just using the highlighter portion. This is even a contour brush, but whatever. I'm just curious to see how this would look. Ooh, I like. Don't highlight your T-zones, Eric. Who are you? Oh, maybe you're supposed to though. Let's come on kisses. Is that still a thing? Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Okay, next up is eyeliner. I'm using the Marc Jacobs pencil liner in the shade of blacker, right up here on the waterline, just halfway through. Alrighty, I went ahead and lined my waterline with the Marc Jacobs blacker pencil liner from the bottom, only from here halfway, and then up right here, 
all the way down. I did the same thing all the way up here on the inside of my waterline, all the way just to half because that's the kind of look that I like. Okay, so you can see like how I have like that look. Now I'm not super done yet. And I went ahead and added some extra pink to the inside of my liner right there, okay? And I'm kind of curious to learn how to play with this side of my face, but I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. So I'm just not attempting because you know what happens when I do, okay? We got tickets to the circus. Now all that's left is to do the white part here. And I've been really wanting to try a winged liner. I'm gonna go in with my NYX water liner pencil. It's gonna go right in here just to make that part brighter. So everyone's like all about that, right? That's it's all about the illusion. Now I don't use mascara when I go out into town because I have really long lashes and like, what's the point? But I've been really wanting to try false lashes as well. This is my next favorite part. I'm so excited. I go in with the Kat Von D Alchemist Highlighter Palette. I'm gonna go in with the green emerald after I take a bite of this salsa. Mmm, the green emerald right here. And this is what I do. I kind of like this, the highlighter to blend into the eyelid a little. I know, don't do that, but whatever. Okay, we're gonna need to go in with another color, like the pink opal, I think, because the emerald's not highlighting as much as I wanted. And also I'm gonna wet my brush with some Urban Decay setting spray, just to give it that moisture that I want to lock it in. I'm going in with the blue sapphire, actually. Blue sapphire. It didn't work out too well for me with the angled brush. Secret, I use a Q-tip, okay? I'm going in with the blue sapphire, the one that I originally wanted to use. Blue sapphire. I'm just rubbing the Q-tip in a circular motion lightly. Is that what we did last time? No, Eric, that's not what you did last Last time, ugh, what are you doing? We're cleaning our angled brush yet again. A Q-tip didn't work. Okay, we wanna shine. I'm going with the ultraviolet amethyst, okay? The one in the center. That's what it looks like when I go out into town. Oh God, that feels so much better. I'm using Kat Von D's Tattoo Black Eyeliner. Amazing, felt tip, your go-to forever. I've heard that tip, just mark it. Okay, so we went ahead and did the left side. The trick that I learned to doing a perfect eye like this is to not do anything other than looking straight forward. This I already started to water. Great, now I look like cinders. <sighs> this is my first time really doing a really good cat eye though, to be honest. Ugh, this one's coming out way better than this one, but this one went up more, this one went kind of down. This one's more Egyptian, this one's more Lady Gaga. But I will tell you confidently that I would go out into town looking like this. I love this one so much better than this one. Sorry, no offense to you, but this one came out way better. Hashtag progress. This one came out better than this one. What did I do differently? Okay, so this one went at a diagonal. This one went straight down. So we need to bring this bitch up here to be here. Okay, all we're missing now is just to highlight the brow bone and we are done with my original Erica Hila look. To finish up this look, I'm gonna go back into the Kat Von D Alchemist Highlighter Palette and I will be going into the blue sapphire shade just to highlight the brow bone. The Kiss and Tell. I have a nice arch, so I just wanna just kinda go there. Right. Right, I know. I'm getting better. To finalize my look, I will be using Kat Von D's Lip Kit Color Red in the shade of Outlaw to line my lips. Who doesn't love a red lip? Like literally Kim. I'm just going in lightly. So I'm just doing the X tip that I saw on Pinterest. I wanna perfect this look because for Halloween, I really wanna be Jessica Rabbit. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. <laughs> I'm not doing all of the lip. I'm just doing part of it to create the illusion of a highlighted lip. And then I'm gonna go in with a lighter color. Wait until you see what I'm up to. And here's the final look. Yeah. I don't know what you'd want to call this, but I'm just going to title this Makeup Tutorial. Well, there you have it. That's my finalized look for my eyeshadow winged liner look for hooded droopy eyes. If you have any comments or tips you'd like to leave for me, make sure you comment below. I read and reply to everyone. Till next time, paint with all of your colors, and I'll see you in the next video.